Uh, you can see the excitement there. A roar of cheers tonight after Team USA beats Ghana in the World Cup. This was the celebration at Three Lions Pub in Shorewood. <laughs> In a state where fans, uh, you know, live and breathe Packers and Brewers, of course. Where is all this soccer excitement coming from? I don't know, but I felt like I was there. All right, <laughs> earlier tonight, 12 News Max Siegel was, and he got some answers. USA! USA! A blast of American pride rings out Monday night at Three Lions Pub in Shorewood. Every inch of this place filled up with World Cup fans watching the U.S. take on Ghana. I'm psyched beyond belief. I've, I've been pumped for four years for this game. Benjamin Jaritza plays soccer on a rec team at Concordia. I think that our generation now, especially the, you know, the 15th or 20 age group right now, soccer is a passion that's grown deep and we're starting to become educated all around the world with it. Other fans feel as our world becomes more global, more Americans want to watch and play soccer. It really inspires young adults to play soccer and to really uh, bring it into their, their communities and their homes. Does anyone know what the World Cup is? These kids may not know, but their parents do. Dan Alvarez okay, says having his daughter get into soccer has him into it now too. And I feel that is a good sport for her uh, coming up and that's why we started watching and more involved in it. And today it's even more exciting. With Team USA giving fans something to cheer about. In Shorewood, Max Siegel, WISN 12 News. How about that? There was another big party tonight in Bayview at the Highbury. The uh, soccer themed pub had a special tent party so fans could enjoy the full World Cup experience. And USA will take on Portugal on Sunday. WISN 12 News, or 12, I feel like it's the news now, but 12 will bring you World Cup matches live the next four weekends, ending with the championship. That's Sunday, July 13th, starting at 2 p.m.